Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in the HTML basics tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to look at the span tag. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 1. If you haven't there will be a link in the description to the source code and there will be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. Before we get on with it I just want to mention one thing. I'm really pissed off with myself that I haven't already told you in the previous two tutorials what HTML stands for. It stands for Hypertext Markup Language which is basically the language of the web. Just wanted to get that out there so let's get back to this, this tutorial span tag in the previous tutorial we did div tag div tag just a quick overview is a block level element which basically means it forces a new line before it and after it and it occupies the full width of its parent element but the span tag is an inline element it doesn't force a new line before it or after it and it only occupies enough space that it needs so that's what a span tag is. You can't have a block level element within a span tag. Span tags generally would just have a bit of text. It's usually used to group a small bit of text and you can add a bit of styling onto it and actually access that text maybe through JavaScript using an ID or a class. All the end classes will be coming towards the end of this tutorial series. There are some powerful attributes, but again, they'll be coming towards the end. I'm just going to open up the HTML page using my text editor so we can just show you a span tag. Just going to delete hello world. I'm just going to put a span tag, close the span tag. You always want to close all your tags. Um, so I was going to put hello world exclamation mark. Um, and so I was going to open up the index.html. It's opened up, it's going to inspect it, as you can see, it's a span tag, and as you can see, it's saying it's 84 pixels wide. Now what I'm going to do for reference, I'm going to put a div tag, div, and just open up this, refresh, if we go to div, it says it's 1155 pixels wide. And let's just resize the browser down a little bit. We show it. It's 506 pixels, and then we increase it to even. Oops, sorry about that. Let me resize it even more, and it says it's 1534. As I said, it's a block level element, div is, and span is an inline ele element, and it only occupies as much space as it needs. And usually this is used just to group a bit of text together or put another span element in there, some sort of other inline element. And if I actually just duplicate this, unlike a div tag, it will still be on the same line. Control in Command R. There you go, it's still on the same line, even though it's on a separate line. That's just how Chrome has formatted the code. But there you go, that's a span tag, it's an inline element. Inline element, just to quickly go over it, is an element that doesn't force a new line before or after and only occupies as much space as it actually needs. So thanks for watching, this was the span tag. In the next tutorial, we're gonna go over the paragraph tag. Also, there'll be links in the description to all the source code that is needed. If you've got any questions, feel free to message us and thanks for watching.